This is the liver of a cow that has been infected with the liver fluke parasite. It's a problem which is becoming more and more common across Scotland. Liver fluke is thriving after a number of particularly wet years created the ideal conditions for the parasite. In fact, the number of cases of fluke has increased tenfold in the last three months. The liver fluke is a, a flatworm parasite that infects both sheep and cattle. Um, it has a very complicated life cycle, most of which is spent out on pasture, so it's very much affected by the climate and the weather patterns. Uh, but it starts off life as, as, as an adult in sheep and cattle liver and it sheds lots of eggs and those eggs get onto pasture uh, in, in, in the faeces and the animal's dung. Uh, they then hatch from there but go off in search of a little mud snail. So the parasite then amplifies inside the snail and is shed onto pasture further as, as cysts and it's those cysts that the poor unfortunate sheep and cattle pick up when they're grazing. And the cysts will then hatch out in the intestine, they'll chew their way through the wall of the intestine and then go off in search of the liver and that's when they cause disease. So it's a very severe production limiting disease. It can be reduced weight gain, poor conception rates, poor reproductive performance, reduced milk yield, and also affects the farmer's pocket. Alan Ross farms cattle and sheep across the northeast. In 2010, we lost two of our own homebred calves. Uh, got a vet involved, done a post-mortem, and found they had a liver fluke. The, the calves had never moved off the, the farm they were born in, so that told us that uh, there was a liver fluke problem in the northeast of Scotland. There were no symptoms? You didn't detect it before they went? No, no, no none whatsoever. And that's quite surprising, it's isn't very, it? Very, very surprising, yeah. But it's one of the key things, it's very difficult to detect. The problem is so acute that companies are now keeping records of the cattle and sheep infected with liver fluke as they pass through the abattoir. This is providing the first concrete evidence of the impact liver fluke is having on the industry. Well, we did a lot of abattoir testing um, where when we previously saw that the impact of fluke, it was running at about 19% of cattle. Uh, that would have been three, four years ago and we recently did a study over over 1,500 cattle this time, a slightly smaller study, 38% showed signs of having fluke at some stage through their life. Can you give us an idea of how much this is costing the industry? The recent abattoir study, it was shown that cattle that had fluke against cattle that, that livers had showed no signs of liver fluke were on average of 15 kilos of carcass weight less. And to put that into current economic value, that is roughly about sixty pound an animal. So it's a it's a, a big deal to a farmer. It is a big deal. There's not much farmers can do about the weather, but they can treat their livestock with flucicides. However, it's not as simple as just administering a drug. The fluke drugs don't kill all stages, and there will be times of the year when, for example, there will be juveniles coming through the liver, and a lot of the fluke drugs only target the adults. So a treatment at that time would be absolutely useless. We would always advise farmers to talk to their vets and get an, underst an understanding of the parasite's life cycle, how it works on pasture, but also the treatment options. We used flucicides for treatment and we've been fortunate enough it's, it, 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 it has worked for us. In some parts of the country they're getting the flucicides, it's on the market, they're, they're getting resistant and that is a real concern. And, uh, I just hope it could be, you know, this will be addressed at some stage. It's a pretty brave step for you to speak out, given the fact that a lot of farmers probably might not want to publicise the fact that they've got liver fluke. <clears throat> yeah, but, but uh, you don't cure anything with your head in the sand. You've, you've got to, there's a problem. Is that you, you, you try and take the best advice available and, and, and deal with it. Uh, and that's, that's exactly what we've done. Liver fluke is now well established across the country. If we do have another wet summer, there's no doubt that many livestock farmers will suffer as a result. <laughs>